welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. It has definitely been a magnitude of multiverse in recent weeks. Online's been having stuff, Target's been getting stuff, now Walmart has decided to join in, and they're finally restocking shelves with a ton of new figures, including the dreaded Platinum editions, but this is what we have today as Hugo Strange makes his DC Multiverse debut. When I saw this at the McFarlane event during Comic-Con, that was one of the standouts for me, and I'm happy to have walked into my Walmart and found it. Now, like I said, it is a Platinum edition. It's not a Platinum edition of any figure per se. It's like the Manhunter and Sportsmaster and everything else. So here's the barcode. And I wish you the best of luck. But as of right now, as is platinum, if you need it, head into Walmarts and then hopefully it'll start hitting other store shelves shortly as well. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line, the Platinum Edition Hugo Strange as Batman. Here we go. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging and what really stood out to me, even though technically this is another Batman figure, it's that it's a very poignant piece of art from back in the day of which I love. And that's really what stands out to me for DC Comics. Now, he does come with extra hands. There are two sets of hands, both with various looks for the gloves. So these are a lot more textured, one of them being a mask holding, the other one being a punchy hand. And then directly from, let's say, Detective Comics number 472, Hugo Strange likes to dress up as Bruce Wayne and Batman. It's kind of a fetish, but he has a removable Bruce Wayne mask, and it's creepy and it's terrifying, and I love that they threw that in the box. Now, yes, this is supposed to be Bruce Wayne, and yes, it also kind of resembles Ronald Reagan in many ways, but there you go. It's really well done, nicely painted, thoroughly creepy, and in terms of what we're looking at here, a perfect accessory for old Hugo Strange, of which, like I said, it's nice to have this figure, and I think that is honestly one of the best head portraits in the DC multiverse thus far. The paint, the look, the shade, everything about it is just incredible. So well done in that sense. Of course, it is just a reused body, but they put a wired cape on there, so I guess <laughs> there's something. Now again, to reiterate, Hugo Strange is one of those fascinating villains of Batman, liking to dress up as Batman, he likes to feel the power, and kind of get inside Batman's mind, Bruce Wayne's mind. Also liked him on Batman the Animated Series. In terms of the gloves, like I said, these two, which are just open hands, are more of just the straightforward Batman gloves. They don't have that texture. So there's two versions if you want to do that. They've also included a new bat symbol, which again is directly from the comics in some of the issues when he would dress up as Batman. So it's kind of like that morphed Batman symbol, which I'm glad they kept. That's actually really cool. And then you have the big giant wired Batman cape. And it is more of that crunchy sort of taffeta. It's not really that nice cloth on some of the recent figures. Does it work? Does it have a nice sheen? Yes, and I love how it drapes over his shoulders. So in that sense, I like the cape. Even though it's not exactly the material I would prefer, it's still well done, and the bendy wire is really nicely done. But here's the one caveat, because there always has to be one, right? The head is all one joint. It's not a head portrait on a neck. You can't swap the head. So in my mind, I was like, okay, I'll get this. It'll be really cool to have him as Batman. But then if I want to, I could put it on a suited body and have Hugo Strange in that sense. No, you can't do that. But I love the sheen from the glasses that it gives off, very comic book style overall. This is a fun figure. It's not going to be for everyone. It's going to be that usual larger type hush body Batman that we all know how the articulation goes. So it has more of those antiquated ball joints, which you're going to need to stand in some sense or get him standing in the positions you don't really want. But when you get him standing, when you get the cape ball billowing, the Bruce Wayne mask in hand, he just looks triumphant. He looks sinister. He looks menacing. That's what I like to see in a perfectly captured comic book panel 
for someone like Dr. Hugo Strange. So in that sense, they nailed it. To look at it in terms of the scale, again, he's going to be larger. We all know how DC Multiverse scale goes by now. So he's that larger Batman body. The Nightfall Batman body would have been ideal, of course, even to swap the heads and not have it be one giant neck piece. That would have been cool as well. It's always something, McFarlane Toys. I tells you what. But complaints aside, yes, I do like this figure. Even when you pair him up with Victor Zaz, that's cool. So very, I would say, deep cut characters. I'm not going to say everybody knows who Hugo Strange is, but he's a fascinating, weird character. And honestly, my first foray into the character was from Batman the Animated Series. I thought it was a very interesting episode, having Joker, Penguin, Two-Face, of which we need a true comic book Two-Face, just saying DC Multiverse peoples. But yeah, that's really cool. So scale aside... It's a very interesting figure, and I'm happy to have it. So that's going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. Hugo Strange dressed as Batman. And yes, even though it's a Platinum Edition, I lucked out and found them. So check your Walmarts, and then hopefully you'll find one as they start to trickle into other stores, as they will be random chase. But ease up on that, McFarlane Toys. People are telling you in the comments, they keep saying, hey, it's not fun. It's not fun. You have to be there at the right time and... You know how that goes. Not everybody can do that. So if you're after this one, I sincerely hope that you are able to grab one rather painlessly. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. We might have another look at an upcoming figure in the Batman 66 variety. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.